All right, so here's our intro video on Crew. Uh, Crew is a about nine month old black male um, out of our Grand Champion GMPR Master Hunter male, our stud dog who's done just about everything there is to do in the hunt test world. Um, and what I would describe Crew as is I would say he's a chip off the old block. Um, I would say he is very much like his father. Um, and, and what I mean by that is um, his strengths, the, the biggest strength is that, um, one, he has a very big on and off switch. Um, and so when it's time to work, he's ready to go. But when it's time to chill, he's down. He's asleep in his crate. Um, so he has a big, a big gear on and off. Um, I would also describe him as being um, a dog who is a team player, meaning that he works uh, to work with me, with the handler. Um, he is not a, a selfish dog. A lot of times I call dogs selfish or dogs that, that do the work for the sake of the work. Um, some people are looking for that. That is not Crew. Um, Crew is, is a team player. He's a buddy. Um, I think he would be great as um, as a gun dog, great as a companion, great as a, a tracking dog, as a detection dog. I think there's a lot of things you could do with crew. Um, there's a lot of potential in him. Um, it's just a question of what all you wanted to do with him. Um, and uh, what I would say about him is, of course, he's um, extremely healthy. Um, parents are OFA good uh, or excellent hips, elbows, eyes. Uh, all the DNA tests are all good. Um, his his level of training is he knows quite a bit of obedience. Um, sit, hear, heal. Um, he has uh, been shot right over the top of him. Um, he has picked up real birds. He has been to a hunt test um, and passed a hunt test. So this is not a, he is not completely green um, is what I'm trying to say. He knows some stuff. Um but he is compliant. He is a team player who's going to work with you. Now, I've just been throwing him a couple of fun uh, retrieves here. And the object that I'm using today is actually really challenging. This is a small quail-sized uh, retriever dummy. Um, it's you know, the smaller than my hand. Um, and given the, um, the snowfall and the cover, um, and we have a bunch of uh, sycamore trees out here, um, this, this really looks like a sycamore leaf laying on the ground. So um, it's, it's great because it causes him to, uh, to not only um, just look around for an object, but he has to really pinpoint it um, when he's marking. So in terms of um, his marking ability, his vision is very, very good. Um, we generally consider um, marking uh, to be a, uh, a natural trait. Um, it's quite good. Um, crew is not yet force-fetched. Um, we have not gone through um, any sort of heavy pressure um, he has had a little bit, a tiny bit of e-collar conditioning, um, but very little. Um, and so, um, he's got a good start on that. I actually took, Hey, <laughs> I took the, the dummy and I, I hung it up on the tripod below the camera and he, uh, he was trying to get it. So let me put that away, put that out of sight. Um, if he can see it, he's going to try to get it. Um, so what I also wanted to do is I wanted to give a little bit of a, uh, intro about his his ability to smell. Um, you know, we had a request for someone wanting to look for, um, like for tracking or for scent detection. And so um, today is a great uh, opportunity for that because we have zero wind. Um, it is dead calm. Um, it's the day after we got this snow and ice. Um, and so what I have here is um, I have a, a frozen blue wing teal. Um, and this frozen teal uh, we'll put off a little bit of smell. So if I'm going to throw this into some heavy cover over here, crew should be able to wind it. But in order to wind it, he's going to have to get pretty close. Um, also, the coloring is going to hide it as well. So he's really got to use his nose to find this object. It's not, it's not like it's just going to be laying here somewhere for him to get to. Here, bud. So first time I'm going to take this, I'm just going to toss it out here like this, crew. And I went ahead and restrained him there just so that he would have a good view of it uh, landing out there because this is pretty challenging with deep cover. This is also 
the first time crew has seen snow. He was born this spring. So you can see the nose is going everywhere. Um, he's using his nose to guide him. Um, and what I would say with crew is when he is hunting a fall, um, he is what I would describe as methodical. He is um, calculated. He is controlled. He is not an out of control maniac. Um, right here, bud. Good. He is a dog who is um, a lot of times I say dogs are are thinkers or doers. Um, he is not a a hardcore doer. Um, he is a thinker. Let's throw him one over here in this stuff where he hasn't been at all. Um, he, he is a dog that is going to, um, to use his head. He is, he's an intelligent dog who's, who's going to look at the situation and, and think what's going on here. So let's give him another one here. Um, so I'm going to toss this one here into this tall stuff. Um, and then I'm going to spin him around here. Nope. Go on around. Crew. Let's see if he can use his nose to hunt that one up. And so he has no shot of finding that with his eyes. In this snow, frozen grass, there's no way he can see it. As you can see, he's really he's thinking. Um, and he's really using his nose to solve this problem. He knows the object's there. And he is trying to get a track on it. Um, like I said, it's really tough conditions today because there is, I mean, there is not a breath of wind. You can see none of this grass is blowing at all. Um, so we'll see if he can dig this thing out. But like I said, he is not a dog that runs a thousand miles an hour you know, and burns a hole in the ground when he is searching. Um, he is more methodical. He is more controlled and it works. Um, he's, he's going to be a dog that, um, like I said, is, is methodical, is calculated, um, but it works. Um, but that's just kind of his style. I apologize for that camera work. I'm doing everything myself today. Um, so anyway, that's a pretty good look at crew. Um, Definitely, like, I feel like this dog has, has a tremendous potential, um, and, and I feel like he would be um, an excellent asset to, um, to anyone who ends up with him. Um, he, is, he has some very specific traits um, that I like, and that is a part of our program that we're trying to produce. Um, I think he's, you know, right in the middle in terms of, you know, over-the-top drive. He has plenty of go, but he also, as you can see here, um, he's got some control as well. See, he knows some stuff. So anyway, that's a pretty good look at crew. Great little dog.